Hello, everyone. May I have a chance today to show you how you can do a sheet metal stamping simulation with Inspire Form and Altair manufacturing solution. After you open Inspire Form, you can import CAD geometry in any format like Unigraphics, Katya, IGS, Parasolid. In the model should contain at least a blank sheet and die face of your tools. Then, you have to tell the software which one is your blank and what type of your blank in model. It can be single blank or tailor welded blank. In this model I choose single blank. And left click to choose the blank sheet. After that, in a micro dialog box, you can define thickness and choose material data from material library. Then, click add operation to add a forming process to your model. You can choose different type of processes like single action draw, double action draw, trimming, spring back etc. In this case, I select a single action. You'll see the single action menu here. Click on it. Then configure each component in a single action. We have to assign top die, bottom die, and bottom binder. Let's start with top die. Select the part and assign it to top die. Then you can set more parameters here like tool speed and friction. Then we come to the bottom die. Select a top die which we already assigned it. But we select offset instead of assign to create a new surface for bottom die. Here, just confirm the offset distance and accept it. Then you'll get bottom die offset down from top die. Next thing we'll do is going to bottom binder and change selector from part to surfaces, in order to select only some surfaces, not the whole part. Then click to select surfaces on bottom die. It will be highlighted in red. Click on partition option to separate selected surfaces from bottom die and hit create, then apply. Right here, you can either apply binder force or maintain the gap between top die and binder. I choose binder force with 100 ton force for this case. And leave the friction with default value which is 0.125. You will see we've got everything we need for this stamping process. And it will automatically set position of each component for us. Let go further step, we need to set the tool movements. By default, it will be set automatically by calculating from distance between top and bottom. You just need to check its movement by click on this point. It will show an animation and tell you how the tool will move in simulation. In animation toolbar at the bottom here, you can control the animation like click to play, go forward step by step or go to the last step which you can check gap between top and bottom die. It looks like everything is completed then we can go to the last step to run analysis. Just click run button here. Then you can set the analysis configuration like job name, mesh size. For mesh size, you can choose coarse, medium or fine. I will leave it as medium and hit run. Wait for a while. It will come up with status bar. When the calculation is done, it will show a green mark and green flag. Then you can see the result by click on the green flag here. The result will be loaded into your model. You can play the animation to see how the tool moves. If you isolate the blank component, you can see material flow inside the tools. You can control animation speed with this toolbar. See, it will move slower. If you go to the end, you can check forming result of your final products like thinning percentage, thickness of final part. Forming limit diagram, which show formability of your part in different color. Red means crack. Green means safe zone. Pink means wrinkle. And you can show a result value on any arbitrary location on your model by callout tool. You can add callouts as many as you want. After you get the simulation result, you can create a report automatically by clicking on Report Tool. You can select each item you need them to be in your report.
so, you will get your report in PDF format. It will show process detail, material detail, and simulation results in different pages. You can know reaction forces on each tool. Thank you for seeing this video. If you need more information about our products, you can find us at solidthinking.com.